folks, I hope you're doing okay. It's Saturday the 8th of January, it's um, quarter past two in the afternoon. We have been out, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, I got up, I did um, some exercise, had a shower and then um, we went out to a retail park in Derby so that the boys could go and get, well go to the toy shop and attempt to spend some of their Christmas money, which they did. I got to go to um, a Boots up there <coughs> and spend, I got some vouchers from Paul's aunt for Christmas. So I got myself, because everything was on, well, everything on this particular stand was half price. So I got myself some Davina uh, Pilates bands. I've wanted some resistance bands for a while and I ordered some from Amazon, I think, and they were not, well, I'll put it this way, they, I didn't have any confidence in putting them around my legs and stretching them, putting them around my legs was bad enough, they were all rolling up, so, made for skinny legs than mine, so, we'll give these a try, so, they worked out at eight pounds, instead of 16, and then this is a beast, <laughs> big soap and glory set, and it should have been 65 pounds, and we got it for 32 pound 50. So, um, body wash, uh, body lotion, foot cream, hand cream, I got myself some hand and foot cream, hand and foot, uh, foot cream, hand cream, just before Christmas, and I got it with my uh, advantage points so I didn't have to pay for it, um, you know, like you, you collect points along the way, like loyalty points or whatever, um, so yeah, got loads of body lotion and face wash and dry shampoo, I won't use that body butter, I think there's some masks and some mascara and stuff, so lots of stuff, but it's heavy, it, it comes in this nice tin, so i use using that sort of thing afterwards, so that was quite good, and uh, spent a grand total of 40, uh, 50p of my own money, <laughs> so that was good, and we came home, just had some lunch, I had some soup, um, we watched another Malcolm in the middle, and I think the boys are watching Keep in Frame now. So I've been bought uh, Risk, the board game, and a little Lego motorbike thing, Lego Technics. And what did Jack, Jack got a big Lego set, it was like 73 quid or something, but it's a Lego Friends, he likes that. <coughs> that series, excuse me. Um, yeah, he seems to enjoy building those ones. We've had a, the first one he bought was like a Bake Off kind of, uh, set like a bakery set it was cool um but yeah it's had all sorts we did have one down here i don't know where it's gone um like restaurants and um there's a fashion house one stuff like that um so yes he's added to his collection and he wants to keep it like separate from the rest of the lego because we've got a great giant ton of lego but he don't want to get it all mixed in he wants to keep it so he can potentially build it again in the future see. Uh, I filmed some footage uh, of our drive just to see mainly how the time lapse, lapse worked. Uh, we filmed a bit in the shop. We'll see what the audio was like, uh, was like on it. Um, hey girl, can you see Pickle in the background? Can you see him scratching my sofa? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? He's got himself out. Just sat there with like his claw hooked in the uh, sofa. Uh, crochet. I finished it. The dinosaur. It's so tiny compared to the other ones I've made. Right, pickle. Uh, so yeah, this is how it comes out in DK yarn using three millimeter hook. Oh, it's cute. I think I use. I'm pretty sure on the pattern they use like six mil eyes, but I've used nine mil. Six just look too small. I used to, I'm sure I was used to use a smaller eyes. But then I pulled out some bigger yarn. So this is the party time chunky. I'm not sure if I've got another ball to tell you the colour. Hang on, have I? No, I think it's PT3 maybe or PT. Hang on. Yeah, party time. So it's PT6. This one. What's the matter? So I am 
just just picked up for the tail um, and then I'll do the legs and this one will be done so I've got a decent amount left so I might be able to squeeze gre uh, green grey one out of the um, past time chunky that I've got left in the grey and yellow sorry Paul's doing the pots if you can hear noise I thought it would be better for me to <laughs> film while I'm facing his general direction so I can see in case he tries to sneak up behind me um, again so yes much bigger obviously this is a chunky yarn I'm using a 4mm hook. I did start in a 4.5 but I was getting quite a um, loose fabric and I didn't want that. So, yeah, a bit different. Um, I've been and got uh, quite a few free sweet oddity art patterns this morning from Lovecraft. That's where she links to on her Instagram for the free moose unicorn pattern. But I couldn't find it on there that I went down a rabbit hole and ended up finding um, like Grim Reaper and there's a Grinch, that's free. Um, I don't know if Max the dog is with it but he's in the picture. But yeah, Grinch, Grim Reaper. What else is there? Oh, I've got quite a few. There's a mole. <laughs> it's like a Sherlock mole and um, what else is there? There's a whole ghost. Thank you. I've made the Oogie Boogie. I gave it to my uh, supervisor for her 30th birthday. Last year? Yeah, last year. Year before. No, 2020. She turned 30. So. Yeah, not last year, year before. We were still working at home. <laughs> Gone to the days where I remember being at work. I think I saw on my. Um, like memories on Facebook. Um, four years ago, I just bought a great big bag of tea bags and said, I'm off work for a month. Do you think I'll, I've got enough? So that would have been when I was on garden leave from my old job before I started this one. So I've been there nearly four years. Four years. February the 5th. Four years. That's gone fast. And February 5th is when we get our kitten. All being well. Um, Good pick on the friend. He came and sat with me last night. We'll watch telly. Normally he sits with Paul, but no, he sat with me. It's nice. Um. So yeah, I don't know what what we're doing for the rest of the day. I think I'll probably have to play Risk at some point. Anyway, so I'm probably going to leave it here for the day. Uh, I'm going to try and finish off the dinosaur and then look at a. Sorry, my eyes are cheap. Look at uh, doing a different pattern. So you see something other than octos and. Uh, Brontos this month but I'm not sure what I want to do whether it'll be another sweet oddity or something I need to go through my patterns and pick something out maybe try something new who knows maybe I need to find a frog don't I Angela doing an uh, <laughs> unofficial uh, frog along well Angela's making one and then someone else has cast on or, or started I don't know the crochet of the name to can't remember sorry uh, but someone else is making a frog and Angela said we should have an unofficial uh, frog along so I, I might have to join in on that some frog action um, yes so I'm going to pull some of my books I don't know if you can see them no my crochet books are here are out of shot I think I think uh, what I see on the screen is narrower than what's actually on there oh actually I can't remember what camera mode I left this on oops it might be on a wider angle than previously. Why is that bit of hair doing? I straightened my hair today and then we went out in the rain in the wind I was like that was foolish. Anyway right so I'm gonna go because it sounds like I'm about to be interrupted so I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you tomorrow.